Hey y'all, welcome back. It is Monday morning. This is a, I'm doing a different version of this because I've had quite a few people asking me about um, yeah, working from home. Like, hey, do you think it'd be enough? And they want to know what it is working from home because I've only been showing during peak hours or on the weekend, like during the day. So that's what we're going to do today. Like I said, it's Monday morning. It's nine o'clock, just a little bit after right now. So I'm going to do quite a few today here and um, and then we'll see what it's like because uh, I'm going to, well, I'm, let's go ahead and get started on this. Um. One thing I've noticed by watching some of these other videos, uh, by the way, the ping was 63 milliseconds. And what I noticed by run, watching some of these videos, everybody, you know, installs it, runs one speed test or like a couple like in the middle of the day and like, yeah, everything's good. And I'm like, well, of course, there's nobody else on the network. So, of course, it's going to be good. Uh, that was 40.2 megabit per second download. And it looks like it's going to be pretty respectable here. An upload of 13.2 megabits. So that was test number one. Let's do test number two here. And I'm going to be doing these for a while still, paying a 52 milliseconds. Um, I'm going to be doing these videos for quite a while. So uh, if you want, like and subscribe. I usually do two of these, two to three of these a week. I do game downloads. That seems to be a pretty popular one. Uh, that was 51.5 megabit per second download and on a 52 millisecond ping. And it looks like we're going to end up in, no, this is too bad, 8.39 megabit per second upload. That was test number two. Let's do test number three. And the ping was 95 milliseconds. But as you can see, during the day, it seems to be pretty good. And it's, uh, like I said, just a little after 9 o'clock in the morning here. And it looks like the ping is 40, or the ping is 95 milliseconds. Download speed was 47.8 megabit per second. And it looks like... Right around 6, 6.05 megabit per second upload. So I'm going to be back probably around 10, 15 to 10, 30, and we'll do the next one. Hey, y'all, welcome back. It's, uh, what, 10.22 right now. So we're going to start here. For test number one, we're going to do a series of three. So the ping on this one was 96 milliseconds. And by the way, uh, since last weekend when I did it last, uh, SpaceX has launched another series of satellites of the Starlink satellites and plus other satellites. They, they actually did quite a bit. And the Dragon capsule, which is the one taking four people to the International Space Station. Uh, so the ping on this one is 69 milliseconds. Download 79.1 megabit per second. And it looks like the upload is ends up at 5.70 megabit per second. That was number one. Let's do number two here. And it also likes if anybody's showing it. It's 46 milliseconds. Uh, ping is 46 milliseconds here. The uh, Starship, that uh, the one that's going to really start launching all these satellites like very quickly, the booster to that one is uh, rolled to the uh, launch pad right now. So... Hopefully, for the last time, so hopefully they're going to get some testing done and actually do an orbital launch here in the next couple weeks. So the ping is 45 milliseconds, the download is 36.7 megabit per second, and the upload is 12.6. And we're going to do one last one here. Ooh, the ping went up quite a bit. So the ping is at 121 milliseconds. Speed, speed doesn't look too bad. Oh, the satellite must be coming in range of Atlanta. By the way, I'm in northwest Georgia, if anybody is uh, new to the channel. So the download's 52.5 megabit per second. All of this is, you know, really good. You, you, more than more than nice enough to work, uh, to work with. So it's 121 milliseconds, 52.5 megabit per second download, and 7.58 megabit per second upload so i'm gonna leave it off there and i will uh be back 10 25 now like yeah probably close to noon 11 45 something like that 
Hey everyone, it is 11.55 now, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the next series of three, so almost noon. And again, this is Monday, March, March, October 10th. Ooh, that's a little bit slow. Uh, the ping was 76 milliseconds latency, if you want to call it that. And the download is 6.23. That's actually pretty low, lower than I usually see in the middle of the day. Still get enough to do, like, uh, Zoom calls or whatever. 2.84 megabit upload. Let's, let's try it again. Latency is 61 milliseconds and huge difference. <laughs> Look at that. It was barely a 6. That's the that's the only bad thing I can say about this. Uh, the ping was 61 milliseconds, 83 megabit download. That's the one thing I can say about this. The satellite internet, the latency is low, which has always been the problem with latency or with uh, satellite providers for internet. However, now this one, since it's not a geosynchronous orbit, and the satellites are coming and going all the time, you see drastic. Oh, uh, that was eight megabit per second down uh, upload there. You see drastic changes in speeds, like 200 one second and four and a half the next second. Okay, so the ping on this one was 183. That's pretty high. However, for you wouldn't notice it probably working from home. But 183 millisecond ping and the download was 121, 121 megabit per second. Download, and it looks like the upload's going to be around 2, yeah, maybe just a little less, 1.72 megabit, and that was basically 12 o'clock to noon, so I'll be back eh, somewhere around 1.30, 2 o'clock, something like that, and I might do just like a 2 o'clock and a 4 o'clock, we'll see how it goes, but so far, the speeds are looking just fine, um, the upload could be a little bit better on that last one, but you can see the download is pretty nice. So uh, I work from home, you know, quite a bit, So, and I don't have any problems with it. I've never had any problems with it during the day. The only time I have slight, you know, little problems is in the evening, like after between 8 o'clock at night and 10 o'clock at night. So anyway, I'll be back. All right, everyone, here we go. We are, I'm a little bit late from the last time. We're at 2 o'clock even. That's for my last one. All right, 2 o'clock even. Again, it's Monday, October 10th, 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Uh, latency, say it looks like it's going down. Oh, no, there it's recovering. So the, the latency, the ping, is 43 milliseconds with a 69.4 megabit download speed. Upload's looking a lot better than it did earlier, actually. Well, it's still bleeding off. Yeah, so 43 millisecond ping, 69.4 megabit uh, download, and 6.77 megabit upload. That's test number one. Let's do test number two. 60 milliseconds, still pretty good. But you see, but this is why I can work from home pretty easily. Like, these speeds are a lot better. My The, the connection that I did have, or actually I'm still paying for it, <laughs> just in case Starlink didn't work out, I still have AT&T DSL. And but it's looking like I'm going to cancel that because every week the latency was getting worse and worse as more and more people got the best effort. But now that it, the market got pretty saturated, um, now it's starting to speed back up as more and more satellites come online. By the way, uh, that one was 60 millisecond ping, 37.7 megabit download, and a 9.22 megabit upload. Now let's do the last one here for two o'clock. 68 millisecond ping. Yeah, 68 millisecond ping. 10, still pretty good. 10.4 megabit uh, download, which again, that's still better than mine. Uh, my other connection, the only other option I have is uh, 6 megabit DSL connection. I thought that was pretty bad, but there was one guy in one of my comments that was saying that he had a 1.5 megabit DSL, and that's all he had. So I didn't feel too bad after that. So that was 68 millisecond ping, 10.4 megabit download, 9.07 megabit upload. 
So I'm probably going to do it one more time at 4 o'clock, two hours from right now, somewhere around there. And um, maybe just a little bit before 4 o'clock. And that'll be the last one that I do on this video for the uh, work at home people. Hey everyone, it is uh, 3.45 right now. Uh, just a little bit before I said 4 o'clock, 3.45 seems to be pretty good. Um, and so what I'm going to do is this is the last one. Again, this concludes the, the, the work from home because people are asking me how fast it is roughly during the day. And because uh, I know that there are a lot more people that are working from home and yeah, that, that you know, very valid concern. Uh, so this one, the uh, ping was 60 milliseconds. And the download, you can see the download is still cooking right along. 53.9 megabit per second download. For that one, it looks like the upload is going to be pretty, it's respectable. I mean, it's not, you know, fiber optic cable good, but it's a lot better than DSL for sure. And that's what I'm dealing with here. That was number one. Let's do number two. Nice, a 52 millisecond ping. Yeah, it's running along really nice. But as you can see, if you're working from home during the day, I haven't had one, there hasn't been one bad test. If you watch the whole video, there hasn't been one bad test of where it's like, you know, two or three megabits where it might be, you know, problematic. You know, all of them were, were pretty decent, like good enough that you could work from home and, you know, Zoom or whatever, you know, Microsoft Teams with, you know, 20 people, 30 people on it. That should be good enough. Uh, sorry, that was a 52 millisecond ping and a 45.2 megabit download and an 8.12 megabit upload. And we're going to do the last test here. A 72 millisecond ping. And again, these are all doing just great. These are, it's getting a lot more stable. I have been having bad problems for the last few weeks on Sunday night and not sure what the problem is. However, this last Sunday, like, well, today's Monday, so last night, Sunday night, it actually wasn't too bad. So I think what had happened, so that was a 70.2 megabit download, 72 millisecond ping, and uh, the upload's down there a little bit, 1.31 megabit upload. But I think what had happened was, because I got the best effort immediately, right as soon as it became available, but I'm pretty sure that over the next week or two, other people were still getting the best effort and people still probably are. And so that's why, because initially it was a lot better. I didn't have any issues, you know, maybe buffering, you know, every once in a while at night when I'm streaming video, nothing too bad. But then it's been progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And I think that's because more people getting the best effort option. However, last Sunday, last night was the first night that it was, uh, much better, you know, watching uh, the House of the Drag House of Dragon on uh, HBO Max, the Game of Thrones prequel, I guess, or pre whatever. Anyway, uh, watching that and it only buffered a few times on me. There was a lot of times the week before that that it was just unwatchable. We had to wait later and watch it later. But that'll conclude this. Uh, I'm going to be doing plenty of these again. Like I said, I want to just keep an eye on network connectivity and I'll put it on here for everybody to see. If you check the dates, I put the dates on here. So if you check the dates, then you can see kind of how it's been progressing um, over the days, weeks, months, years, all that stuff. So hope everybody has a great week and we'll see you next time.